guys, this is Mike the Detroit Borg with a look at the Switch Easy Avant Guard series. Now, the Avant Guard series is actually a set of four cases the Blossom, the Chateau, the Clockwork, and the Plank. Now, they're all part of this series of cases. They all cost $34.99, and they're kind of interesting. They're certainly very stylish and unique cases. Uh, they're known for this sort of see through or these, this sort of perforated design, so you can actually see through the uh, case to the foam. And we'll talk about that once we get it onto the phone so we can take a look at that. But uh, one of the great things about them is that there are four case designs, but they're also available in different colors. Now, the clockwork is available in metallic tones. So we have a silver version and there's a bronze version, which is kind of interesting. So I went with the silver version, uh, which I think is probably gonna be one of their more popular case designs. Now let's take a look at what we get with the Switch Easy case. So we get two screen protectors, two headphone and dock connector protectors and a microfiber wipe. Now what we're not seeing here is that um, video stand, which I don't really care about, but we don't get a, a universal dock adapter like we do with other Switch Easy cases. So that's kind of a drawback for me. And I think that's unfortunate, but maybe it's understandable with four different case designs, it's not possible to accommodate all of them. So anyway, let's take a look to see what we get. And here is the phone case, and you can see that all the accessories are actually in this little packaging. Now this is a two-piece slider design, so the back just slides off. So that's where your phone will go. Right now they keep our accessories in here, so we have the microfiber cloth. We have those dock connector protectors and the headphone plugs. We also have, it looks like an application card for installing those screen protectors. We got a little instruction booklet. And those are the screen protectors. Now taking a look at the two pieces of this case, you can see the back plate actually has these cut throughs or cutouts so you can see the phone right through the case that adds to the uniqueness of the case but certainly it also provides an opportunity for dust and grit to get between the case and the phone which is not necessarily ideal for a lot of people but it's something to consider if you're not too concerned about it. it certainly adds some protection but maybe not the best protection possible. Now the Blossom and the Chateau cases also have this similar design but it appears that the Plank case is just one solid piece so if you're concerned about that maybe you want to take a look at the plank case but these are hard plastic these are very rigid plastic same with the um, frame so uh, the frame is pretty stiff it is a little flexible but it's definitely hard plastic the inside of the case is also hard plastic now, because this is a rigid case there are just these cutouts for the buttons and the ports so there is nothing covering the buttons and ports here and of course since these are recessed this does sort of make the buttons fall flush to the case, which makes them a little harder to operate. Now I find the best way to install the phone is to install the side with the sleep-wake button area first, and then sort of work the uh, side buttons over the ledge, and then the bottom of the phone just drops into place. Now the back of the case essentially slides on, and you can see these rails on either side which match with grooves on the frame of the case, and you just have to sort of line these up, and it slides right on snaps into place. Now taking this case on and off is pretty easy. Basically you want to grip the phone and sort of push it down and it slides right down. Very easy and the phone just sort of pops out and you probably want to pop out the bottom first because you don't want to sort of force the buttons against the opening of the frame. There you go. Now with our case on, we can take a look around and the first thing you'll notice is the dimensionality of this case. It certainly adds a lot of texture and interest to the phone. So when you put this to your phone, it's definitely gonna stand out. And as you can see, you can see the phone right through these cutouts of the case and maybe it would stand out better if you had a black phone uh, because that white sort of blends in with the silver of the phone and speaking of the silver you can see it has that nice metallic uh, paint job which sort of reflects the light certainly when you put this to your ear it's definitely going to stand out now looking at the basics so we have a cutout for our camera and flash with this black bezel to mitigate glare unfortunately it doesn't work that well so I still get glare with the camera so you can see when I take a photo with the case on or the case off uh, you still get that uh, annoying glare. So unfortunately you need an even larger cutout to get rid of that. Along the side we have the Switch Easy logo. On the top we have a cutout for the sleep wake button which is recessed which sort of makes it harder to feel for. And we also have a ample cutout for the headphone and a noise cancellation microphone. On the side we have an ample cutout for the sleep wake button which works very well. There's plenty of room to operate it. And then we have the cutouts for the uh, volume controls which unfortunately are a little tight. It's hard to feel for them through this case and you have to push a little harder to uh, operate them through the uh, 
through the small cutout of the case. And on the bottom we have cutouts for the microphone and speaker as well as the dock connector. Now on the front we have an ample bezel for a lay on table design so you can lay this on your table without the glass touching the surface so you can keep that nice and scratch free. Now taking a quick look at these accessories you can see this dock protector just sort of snaps into place and protects the uh, dock from accumulating dust and dirt or water. Uh, and you can see it sort of matches the case, not exactly, it's just a gray plastic, it doesn't have that same metallic finish. It's the same story with the headphone jack protector. Again, it covers the headphone jack uh, port, but leaves the noise cancellation microphone free. But again, the plastic is just a gray plastic, it doesn't have the metallic finish. Now this case doesn't feel that comfortable to hold. Certainly it's a rigid plastic with this sort of angular design. The edge is pretty sharp along the edge so when you grip it you really feel that sharp edge. So I wouldn't say it's very comfortable to hold uh, but that's certainly a trade-off in terms of having this design. And of course it is a rigid plastic and I'm not sure how this plastic will wear over time. If you drop this plastic because it's painted it will likely chip and show the uh, material underneath. Now, another drawback to these two-piece case designs is that they sort of creak and move around when you grip them. So you can actually feel the two pieces sort of sliding around. It's not too bad. This case feels pretty rigid, but you do feel some movement and some sort of creaking and snapping when you push on it. Now, while I think the case is very interesting in terms of its design, it's certainly a conversation piece and you will be asked about this often every time you break it out. But it's not the best case in terms of providing protection. Uh, and at $34.99, it's pretty expensive. This really is a case you buy for its design. Now, it does provide some protection. Again, it has excellent lay-on table design. But it doesn't provide a lot of shock protection because it is a rigid plastic. And what concerns me most is this perforated design. While the case is easy to take apart, I would prefer not to allow dust and dirt to get in there. And because we're dealing with hard plastics, any dust and dirt that gets in there is sort of stu is stuck between the phone and the case. And so if there's any movement between the case and the phone, that will cause some damage to the phone. So I prefer to see a soft liner or a softer plastic wrapping the phone. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for me. What do you think about this case? Do you like it? Do you have it? Are you going to pick one up? Let me know in the comments section below. Really look forward to hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.